Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Marvin Olaes, ang magsisilbing tagapagpadaloy ng Talkback ngayong gabi. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo sa uh, panonood ninyo ng Ang Huling Lagda uh, ni Apolinario Mabini. Ang streaming ng dulang ito ay bahagi ng proyekto ng UP Department of Speech, Communication and Theater Arts at dula ang Universidad ng Pilipinas na kasama kaisa karamay. Sa mga unang bahagi ng COVID-19 pandemic, isa ang DUP sa mga unang nagpalabas na mga nagdaang produksyon nito ng libre. Ilan sa mga ito ay ang Ang Nawalang Kapatid, Fathers and Sons, Adarna at Teatro Porvenir. Ngayong buwan ng Mayo, sa ilalim ng kasama kaisa karamay, handog naman namin ang Ang Huling Lagda ni Apolinario Mabini at ang 2019 at 2020 staging ng Nana Rosa. Layunin ng kasama kay Isa Karamay ang ipakita ang kahalagahan ng mga Pilipino para sa isa't isa sa panahon man ng kagipitan o kaginhawaan. Ang proyektong ito ay nagsisilbing paalaala sa kaugalian ng mga Pilipino na hanggat nangangarap tayo para sa ating bayan at para sa ating mga kababayan. Kayang-kayang masolusyonan ng mga problema ng lipunan gaya ng pangapi, kawalan ng hostisya at banta sa kalayaan. Na isang dalawang produksyong bahagi ng proyektong ito na gisingin at magbigay ng inspirasyon sa mga manonood tungkol sa pinakamalaking responsibilidad natin bilang mga Pilipino, ang magsakripisyo at mahalin ang ating bayan. Kasama po natin ngayong gabi upang malaman natin ang mga kwento sa pagbuo ng Ang Huling Lagda ni Apolinario Mabini, ang mga utak at puso sa likod ng produksyong ito. Ilan sa mga dulang isinulat niya ay ang St. Louis Loves Them Filipinos, Atang, isang panaginip na fili. Fake, ang kalungkutan ng mga reyna. Shock value, collection, at the condiment party. Mga kaibigan, ang gumawa ng libreto ng Ang Huling Lagda ni Apolinario Mabini, Sir Floyd Quintos. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Salamat po sa inyong panonood. Good evening, Marvin. Good evening po, Sir Floyd. Ang susunod naman natin kasama ngayon ay nagtapos siya ng Bachelor of Music in Choral Conducting at Master of Music in Musicology sa UP Diliman kung saan siya ay nagsisilbing assistant professor sa UP College of Music. Nagtatapos rin siya ng kanyang PhD sa University of Edinburgh sa Scotland. Sa DUP, naging bahagi siya bilang vocal director, kompositor at tagapamahala ng disenyo ng musika ng Ang Nawalang Kapatid, Hashtag R Broken Heart J. Bagong Kristo at ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini. Mga kaibigan, Krina Kayabyab Vinyas. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Hello, Sir Marvin. Maraming salamat sa pagpanood ninyo ng ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini. Good evening. Magandang gabi, Krenz. At uh, last but not the least, siya ang nagsilbing choreographer at direktor ng halos isang daan at dalawamput limang mga dula, musicals, special online events at online productions sa loob ng dalawang dekada. Pinamunuan niya ang DUP bilang artistic director nito mula 2015 hanggang 2018. Ilan sa kanyang mga idinarehe ay ang Orosman at Zafira, ang Kiri, Rizal X, Collection, Ang Nawalang Kapatid, ang huling El Bimbo at ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini. Mga kaibigan, Professor Dexter M. Santos. Hello po, good evening. Uh, hi Sir Floy, hi Krita, hello, hi, hello, hello, hi Sir Harvey, nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you, kayong tatlo po. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at salamat for being here tonight. Nako, na-miss ko yung kayong tatlo. Magandang gabi po Ayun sa inyo. Ayun na TikTok star na kasi. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening po. Uh, what an honor to be here with you and of course, an honor to be part of ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini kasama ninyo. Uh, welcome to our talk back. Uh, para po sa aming mga audience, sa mga nanood kanina sa aming streaming, maraming maraming salamat po. At para po sa mga lumipat dito sa aming talkback, our comment section is open para po sa inyong mga katanungan or kung ano po ang gusto nyong mga sabihin para sa ating mga kasama ngayong gabi. Uh, simulan ko na po just to start our discussion. No? Eight years na po, ang tagal na pa na. Eight years na po simula ng na-stage natin ang, ang huling lagda ni Apurinario Mabini. At simula po noon, napakadami na pong nangyari. Na, Nag-pandemic na 
uh, the political climate is definitely different right now and of course the upcoming national elections. Ang tanong ko po, ano po ang inyong thoughts, yung mga nararamdaman ninyo po habang pinapanood ang Apolinario, ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini na nagawa natin eight years ago. Ano po ang pakiramdam in your thoughts watching it at this specific moment in time? Siguro po simulan natin kay Sir Floyd. Well, again, nag-raise na ng hand no? Alam mo, I was just texting Dexter now. Napaka-relevant pa din ng material. It's still such a relevant material kasi pinag-uusapan nito bukod sa, of course, ang, ang kahalagahan ng kasarinlan. Pero ang main takeaway ko, which you see happening now, is the refrain. He, wala sa loob, wala sa labas. Ano na, wala sa iba, wala sa labas. Tayo pala ang... I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Ang inyong nalika. Exacto. Na, which is what you're seeing now with the people's movement. That um, the people are taking the hold of their... They're claiming their agency. Muli natin pinakahawakan ang ating, ang ating hinaharap. Muli natin pinakahawakan ang ating mga conviction. Muli natin pinakahawakan ang ating mga paniniwala. Muli tayong bumabalik sa ating tunay at mas our truer and better selves. Um, and then, of course, in the second number, the beautifully staged by Dexter, beautiful music by Krina, uh, ang maikling kasaysayan ng aking, ating revolution, yung rejection of, politi- of traditional politics, yung tra- rejection of, of politics as a way to shape your life, na, as Ricarte so well says, kung gusto mong magbago, huwag ka nang umasa sa iba. It, start, it starts with you. And I think yun na nagiging recurring theme ng dula, recurring theme of the music, recurring theme of the songs, that the power is, should be in the people. And as, as sabi nga ni Salud, marahil hindi pa tayo handang makinig. So nandun pa din yung, yung polarity of society, of people not wanting to change or not wanting to listen or not wanting to open themselves up to a, to a new way of thinking. And nandun na rin yung Um, acknowledgement that the real power to change lies in us. Yun lang po. Thank you very much for that, Sir Floyd. Grabe yung ang pagbabalik sa ating better and truer selves. And uh, grabe, goosebumps. And I think we, we're seeing that right now, no? Yeah. Sinabi nga nila, lumalabas ang ating tunay na pagkatao at, uh, during trying times, challenging times, like the one that we're in right now. Thank you very much for that, Sir Floyd. Punta po tayo kay Sir Dex. Sir Dex, kayo po, ano pong naramdaman nyo? After eight years <laughs> Sorry, na napanood natin ito ngayon. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, actually, nung, nung pinapanood ko siya, uh, uh, it was an impetus to actually check in terms of the subtitle. So I was really looking at it in terms of the technical side, in terms of the audio. Uh, tapos, di ba usually, pag nanonood ka ng isang production uh, na nagawa mo na, so syempre, mag-check mo, ay, parang mali ata yung choice doon. <laughs> parang, ah, dapat ito yung ginawa ko. But I, I think, pagdating siguro, like, uh, uh, as soon as the, the, the musical started, uh, nakakatawang isipin na uh, from the very start, kasi it was a conscious effort from Sir Floyd, na we didn't want... Uh, textbook uh, you know the we didn't want a uh, culinary mabini na kahit na it was uh, it was meant to celebrate uh, the sesquicentennial of apilander mabini so uh, the concern was the, the vision was to have to, to do something na no resonate and i think yun na nga eh uh, habang pinapanood mo siya uh, it will to <laughs> sumusundot siya uh, i mean no consensus siya in terms of your life choices in terms of your uh, uh tungkol sa mga ginagawa mo not only for not only for the country but for the other people as well but i think yun na nga uh, uh, iba yung sundot niya because of the environment and the and the scenario that we're living in uh, yun din yung katulad ng sinabi rin na line ni Sir Floyd actually yun talaga yung nag- nag-struck ng chord sa akin na uh, ano nga ba uh, what's our responsibility uh, ano yung pwede natin maimbag uh, at the end of the day uh, many people have actually sacrificed their lives for this country and uh, uh, pagdating nung sa darating na, na, na May 9 that type of responsibility akala ng iba na napakaliit but uh, actually it's a game changer and a life changer for, for everybody so So yun, yun yung ang, ang personal, yun na nga eh. So parang something na akala ko artistic or something na akala ko something na parang aaralin mo or di ba parang check ka. Uh, naging ano siya, naging, naging personal, highly personal. Uh, siguro nga kasi we're so much engaged with what's happening right now. And that's important. We should be. 
Yes. And thank you very much, sir, for sharing that personal side of uh, the creative process itong uh, Mabini at kung paano ito nag-resonate sa inyo. Uh, Ma'am Krina, kayo po. Yeah, um, same with... Sir All the way from Edinburgh. <laughs> Yes, uh, pareho po ng sinabi ni Sir Dex at ni Sir Floyd. Um, personally, sa akin, napakalaking bahagi nitong proyekto na ito sa akin bilang isang kompositor. At dahil ito yung, I think, our first project together, Sir Dex and Sir Floyd, in making a musical. And parang ito talaga yung naging grounds of learning ko when it comes to music theater. And... Um, And paulit-ulit kong sinasabi kay na Sir Floy na uh, grabe yung development ko dito as, um, as a musician, as a creative. And at the same time, making the music here um, with that text and the content na ginawa ni Sir Floy at yung vision din ni Sir Dex sa pag-direct niya, uh, talagang na ibuo yung kailangang ma- maipadama sa mga manunood yung kailangang, um, lalo na ngayon, na mas nararamdaman natin ngayon sa panahon natin, yung mensahe ng play. So, um, habang pinapanood ko siya kanina, mas parang halo-halo yung emotions dahil syempre kailangan balikan at alalahanin natin kung ano yung posisyon natin bilang mga Pilipino sa panahon na to, lalo na at malapit na ang May 9. Thank you so, very much for salamat, uh... Sharing, Karina. Susundan ko na rin ito ng mga iba pang tanong. So we have pre-selected questions here. Mabibilis lang po, tag-iisa lang po kayo. Um, sa uh, Ma'am Karina na muna, uh, kasi mabanggit mo na rin, Karina, yung tungkol dun sa music, no, sa paggawa mo sa kanya. Alam mo ba minsan, parang randomly naririnig ko lang yung songs ng Mabini. Ganun siya tumatak sa akin, yung yung melody niya. Minsan, naririnig ko lang siya bigla uh, kasi naaalala ko yung musical. What was your creative process? Yung pagsi, uh, pagsimula mong pagsulat nitong, uh, uh, ng music for uh, ang huling uh, lagda ni Apolinario Mabini. Can you uh, walk us through your process in creating the music for it and designing the sounds for uh, the musical? Uh, nung na sabi ni Sir Floy na ang gusto niyang color or texture ng music ay parang Stephen Sondheim. Sobrang na-excite ako dahil napaka-paborito ko ang music ni Stephen Sondheim. So, nagbabad ako sa mga uh, musicals niya. And then, um, uh, dahil ang, ang gusto rin treatment ng music ay string quartet with piano. Uh, nagbabad din ako sa pakikinig ng mga Debussy and Ravel string quartets for a time. So, malaking influensya yung mga composers na yun, yung mga um, impressionist composers na yun sa paglikha ng music. And then, um, nung nailatag na yung script, uh, hinanap ko muna kung ano yung structure na pwedeng ilagay sa bawat um, songs ni Sir Floy, like ano ba dito yung parang magtutunog verse or magtutunog chorus or um, gagawin ko bang through compose, meaning um, walang, walang fixed structure, which I think karamihan ng, ng text ay ganun yung nangyari dahil sinunod ko yung kung ano yung meaning, kung ano yung emotions na kailangan ilabas dun sa, sa, sa mga text ng lines ng, script, ng buong script. So, um, Ginawa ko yung studies, so gumawa ko ng notations, ng string quartet, and then pinarinig ko na kay na Sir Floyd and Sir Dex for their, for their feedback, and then doon na nagsimula yung mga revisions. Um, I think makakwento rin na Sir Dex and Sir Floyd kung paano yung naging flow ng aming uh, process noon. Dahil hanggang sa um, hindi pa nagsimula ang opening night, or hanggang sa opening night, Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung pag-revise namin at pagdagdag ng kanta pa nga. So, para lang makuha yung punto at emosyon na gusto namin maramdaman ng mga tao through the music na makakatulong sa, sa yun, emotional impact ng play natin. 
Thank you very much, Krina. At may nakaalala sa isa sa ating mga nanonood. Uh, para dun daw sa mga hindi nakapanood ng live sa Guerrero Theater dito, baka sa streaming lang nila napanood. Fun fact lang po, uh, live ang ating music noon. Meron tayong, ano matawag doon, Krina? Instrumentalists or uh, yes, music live musicians? live mga musicians tayo. <laughs> At, uh, uh, piano quartet. Tama ba ang tawag ko doon? Tama ba yun? <laughs> string quartet. Well, string quartet string, string with quartet. the pianist. String so, well, quintet. Quintet. Ah, yun. Ah, sorry. Okay, sorry na na ano pa ako. <laughs> Nangyayalog pa ako. Uh, Ang so, pare yung uh, quintet, piano quartet. Quintet. <laughs> How I <Sorry>. work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry po. Uh, so, Karina, uh, ano, um, ano yung inspiration behind that? Uh, bakit mo napiling strings siya? Bakit gano'n ang areglo? Baka pwede mo kaming kwentohan ng konti. Ay, ayun. Um, na, na imagine kasi ni na Sir Dex and Sir Floyd na merong live string quartet musicians with a pianist. So, um, I took it from there. Tapos, yun na yun. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Karines, for sharing your uh, creative process. Uh, uh, Sir Floyd, this next question is for you. Sir Floyd, what inspired you, though, po, to write Ang Huling Lagda ni Apolinario Mabini? Okay, um, um, alam ito ni Dex, alam ito ng buong Dulang UP. The material was never, was not intended for Dulang UP. It was commissioned by um, uh, the dean of PUP because they had um, the Mabini house on their campus and they wanted to celebrate it by doing something. So they asked me to write a musical. But after doing all my research, um, uh, you, you know, um, I said, why try to tell the whole story? I mean, that's from, from the, everybody, you know, people have done that already. What really interested me bilang, as a playwright, yung talagang nakahook sa akin is that singular moment nung lumagda siya. That, that, that singular moment, that, 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 um, how did he get there? there? There's hardly any record. Hardly, hardly any record. It just says that pinatapong sila sa Guam. After a while, Taft negotiated for them to come home. He signed uh, silang, huli, silang tatlong huli, yung kapatid, si Descartes. And, he signed, nagpart ways, nakauwis at nagtahan, namatay. That's all we have from history. We don't know, uh, and that for me is so fascinating because this man who gave so much of himself, who, who gave so much of himself to the Philippine Revolution, what was going on in his mind when he signed? How tired was he? How disillusioned was he? Gano siya kapagod? And how long, ano yung regrets niya about it? Before finally, at least in the play, deciding na I'm, I'm done. It's the turn of others naman. Which very clear sa staging, very clear sa music, yung pagbigay niya sa you know, what, what does it take to make a hero rest? I think that was one of the things that I really wanted to grapple with. Anyway, hindi nila masyado nagustuhan kasi gusto nila nga yung malaki, yung maraming revolutionary scenes. And I wasn't interested in doing that at all. I, I really wasn't interested in rewriting history chapters and making them into a play. I really wanted mm-hmm. to go into what he was feeling. And that's how it came about. That's So um, I bought the material back because siyempre nag... nag they paid me to do it. When I showed the script to Dexter and he liked it, wala pang music nun, ha? I paid them back. So I bought the material back. After two years of writing it, I bought it back, turned it over to Prina, and that's how it that's how it happened. There's only one song that was really added, the song of um, Artemio Ricarte after Mabini Signs. That short, very powerful, very popper, I'll get my tan. Aria, which Krina just we we all kind of wrote that on the spot. That was a few nights before we opened. But that, that's basically how how it went. The, the, we, this is the one script Dexter where we hardly had to change anything. Aside from that song, there was hardly. Kami pa naman Dexter and Krina rewrite ng rewrite ng rewrite chan. Ito wala. It just settled quietly. I think Dexter knew the the temper that we wanted. So ganon yun. Thank you very much for sharing that, Sir Floyd. Um, ang galing po nung sina, parang sinabi ni Sir Dex kanina yung about the uh, he didn't want it to be textbook. Parang yun din po yung sinasabi niya, Sir Edo, na it's not this big bayani uh, musical of uh, um, Apolinario Mabini and you chose this specific moment of his life. One uh, scene that really struck me was uh, where, uh, 
well, uh, several, ilang scenes po ito, yung confrontations, a confrontation ni Apolinario Mabini with uh, Aguinaldo, confrontation niya yes. with General Taft. Uh, can you talk of course, about both are imaginary, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, both are imaginary. Um, there is no record, although we know that Taft maneuvered. One thing, kasi if you read the letters of Taft to Roosevelt, hangang-hanga siya. Talagang hangang-hanga siya kay Mabini. You know, and I tried to capture that in that scene, the courtliness of language, brilliantly played mm-hmm. by, by um, Leo Real. But you, um, we know, we don't know if that ever happened. It's unlikely because an American governor general would not go down to... Well, but then I thought, why not? To make a dramatic point that in his admiration for him, he will try to tell him, sige, lumagda ka na kasi basically wala na yan, makaka-uwi ka na. And again, that slight nature of transactional politics which we're hearing about all over the place again these days. And and, the, and Mabini's staunchness not to... The, and then the previous in Act 1 also, there's that um, imaginary meeting with Aguinaldo that happens. They they never... There's no record that they ever met again. It's it's mm-hmm. it's what it's hindi ba nakakaloka yon the man you devoted yes. your life to making his making his government and he turned you down and talagang siguro bagsak na bagsak ang loob niya nung nung lumagda si Aguinaldo but there's no record of them ever speaking again even when they were in Manila at the same time Agina um, Mabini only lived two months before he died when he got home talagang he came home to die and there's no record that they ever talked I said how interesting to have the set pieces of Act One and the set piece of Act Two is the are these imaginary confrontations with each mm-hmm. other. I, can I can I make a historical note, Dexter and Krina and everybody? Go can for I make? It. Yes, uh, sir. Go ahead, please. Sorry, this is a very, very, very interesting historical note. It was texted to me by um, uh, Tita by um, um, a lady friend of mine, and it's from a lady called um, Ipat Luna. Do you know, Dexter Santos, that... Sorry, nawala. I'm sorry, Allah. <laughs> Do you know, Dexter Santos, that among the people, among the men exiled to Guam and was Julian Herona, who is a great-grandfather of Vice President Lenny Herona. Can you imagine that? It was texted to me by Miss Ipat Luna. She's a lawyer. And sabi niya, I wish you could do this play again. I was crying for five minutes as, as um, Apolinario Mabini signed. But I wish if you do this play again, maybe you can write Julian Herona, an ancestor of B.P. Lenny, into the play. So kasama pala siya dun sa exile sa Guam. Anyway, sorry I took more than your, my time. <laughs> no problem, sir. Grabe yung Easter eggs. <laughs> Grabe yung trivia. Yeah. <laughs> dun, sa, dun sa prologue, naka-flash yung names nila. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but we never yeah. exist, di ba? Correct. Uh, yeah, we never do. Well, thank, well, thank you for, for sharing that, uh, Sir Floyd. Uh, meron pa pong isang trivia, di ba po? Uh, I remember when we were doing the research, ang totoong um, account. Well, of course, not the exact account. Pero meron po talagang character ng nurse. Tama po ba, sir? Sir uh, Floyd? No. The, also, that, not, well, there was a nurse. There was a Filipina nurse mm-hmm. who was brought to look at it. And I said, why not turn that into a beautiful human experience? Why not? Yeah. And that's the character of Salud. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sir Floyd, for sharing these uh, uh, Easter eggs at mga trivia na ito about the show. And Sir Dex, ano po naman po daw yung inyong artistic process ng pagbubuo ng uh, piece na ito? It's a very interesting piece. Uh, paano po ninyo sinimulan or yung general creative process, uh, your creative, uh, your directorial vision para po sa ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini? As usual, I, I think that's something that I, I, I terribly miss <laughs> with, with, with Sir Floyd. Was, uh, actually, lahat nga ng sinasabi ko naman, classic yan, lahat ng conversation namin, uh, lahat ng bawat play ay nangyayari sa Guerrero Theater <laughs> Lobby. Actually, nang, nagsimula to kasi galing kami sa ang nawalang kapatid, na ang dami-dami, ang laki-laki, <laughs> ang ingay-ingay. So when I got the script, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the perfect thing to do something which is different. So uh, actually, uh, on a personal note, an artistic note, uh, <laughs> Meaning, it was an excuse to do something which is minimal, uh, to do something which is uh, really uh, 
quiet. Pero syempre kayo pinapanood ko, minimal ka dyan, quiet ka dyan. Hindi na masyado. So, ganun pa rin. <laughs> no, <laughs> hindi na ba? So, I don't know. I, don't, I, I mean, laro lang yun. It's, it's just a joke. But then again, uh, it was a conscious effort. Kaya ang sarap na sarap akong gawin. Uh, minimal yung cast, tapos uh, in terms of setting, uh, yun. Uh, yun naman yung artistic process. I, I think, uh, yun nga yung laging, well, that's something that I miss working with with, with Sir Floyd is that, again, it's a continuous Uh, process of actually asking questions, trying out things, and uh, kung, kung ano yung nag-work, hindi mag-work. Kung halimbawa, meron hindi, uh, hindi mag-work, we talk about it, and we try it. And, and, yun naman yung masarap. So at the end of the day, uh, you saturate all of those things so that pagdating sa palabas, uh, yun, yun ang, yeah, ang mag-nangyari. Uh, in terms of uh, Krina, actually, kaya rin ata, <laughs> prangkana, that's why you wanted to do a, a string quartet, syempre, when you're doing a musical, uh, expensive <laughs> super duper expensive so yun nag nagkataon lang na that we decided to to do something which is more contemporary and mo uh, uh, very modern uh tuwa-tuwa kami ni Sir Floyd noon kasi the first time we nung nagbigay ni Krina yung studies na ang dami ha <laughs> hindi hindi sa ang kanta ha uh, she totally got it so so yun 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 yung yun yung masarap i i think uh in terms of the process what i miss about the rehearsal is that yung pupunta sa rehearsal hall kasi hindi ka takot na magtry right at kung hindi man siya mag-work edi eh okay lang tapos try ulit ng bago at yun at yun yung masarap na pag nag-work ay uh, ah okay so suddenly we're able to get it oh. sorry yung walang connection dun sa ano <laughs> naiimo lang siguro ako dun sa buong process ng of, of doing something which is highly collaborative again that's but that's something we 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 always and I, the idea of doing something which is highly original and yun and and highly uh, uh, na nag-resonate <laughs> hindi di ba we, hindi lahat ng palabas ganun eh. Hindi rin naman, hindi naman ako nagtataas ng bangko. Pero, uh, eh, natamaan ako eh. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sir Floyd. Yeah. May... No, no, if I may say, you know, I think what Dexter really did to the text, what Dexter really was able to add to the text, was he would always bring it back to history. To, like, in the beginning, the names. So these were real people. And then, ayan na. Ito na yung fantasy collection. Tapos, ginaground niya na naman sa... sa through the use, the clever use of archival material of, of video, especially in that, that coup de fiat moment of the signing of the, of, the, of the Code of Allegiance. Brilliant yung use ni Dexter ng archival material doon. So, lagi siyang may ganun. Lagi siyang, although the play is really, in a sense, really, it's really like most of my work. It's really a fantasy. It's a theatricalized... Um, version of what may have been but it's the, in this particular case Dexter was because of staging the like ground lag in Dexter in reality and it always constantly reminding the audience this really happened this really happened yeah. this really happened uh, in, in yes. addition I, I think nagsimula ata yung mga archival because we're able to see the house of yes. Adorinari Mabini. Yes. Then, then suddenly, ang dami nang lumabas. Merong uh, uh, news headline. Tapos suddenly, merong photos na... The, Nung pag-uwi yung, mga, niya. yung pag-uwi niya. Which Tapos was I've never seen before. Huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think may video din, Marms, no? Oh, yeah. 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 So, there was a video. So, so then suddenly, ang dami palang ganun. Uh, in terms of, like, for example, even yung, pag, pag, yung panunumpa ng mga ano, there was an archive. That's why uh, we mirrored all of those things. So, yun. So, I think doon dun nagsimula yung proseso na yun. Masarap siyang gawin. Kasi buhay na buhay eh. Buhay na buhay. Yes, so naalala ko nga po yan, yung palagi nyo yung uh, binibili na we always have to ground it sa, sa history uh, like a reminder na totoong nangyari ito, mga totoong tao ang mga nandito. Uh, and I think uh, ang gandang touch nun uh, for for the audience, for for spectators. Follow-up question lang, Sir Dex, sinabi ni Sir Floy kanina, unlike your other uh, projects together, dito sa Ang Huling Lagdani ni Apolinari Mabini, less yung um, edits yung the script, less yung um, revisions. Well, ano, Sir, sa tingin nyo yung magic na nangyari dito or what was the what happened bakit ano pong meron dito na parang everything just fell into place at nangyari yon I, I i think the, i think naman, well lahat naman ng material sir floy ba di ba everything is falling into place but, yeah well yes so totoo naman ano naman, naman natin hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman siya surf like but but, but i i think tama, tama, siguro personally kasi yun yung hinahanap ko talaga <laughs> di ba right after ang nawalang kapatid parang ito yung ito yung mas masarap gawin tapos um exacto pa siya dun sa Sesc Centennial so parang yo yun yun, yun yung yun yung masarap i i i think uh uh at saka 
we 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 had a, a group of cast who was, who was very able in terms of uh, the casting also uh, na nagtrabaho uh, di ba pero pang ang spill over ng mga ang na walang kapatid children na ngayon eh daddies na and titos na so oh. so yun so yun uh, yun si siguro uh, eh, bu- buo siya eh buo siya eh bu- buo siya and, and siguro eh, that's something that we're really uh, really want from the start and I think malaking tulong Sir Floyd yung ginawa ni Krina in terms of, of of the music in terms of the delivery uh, uh, hindi madali yun na, na talagang uh, you're talking about uh, the whole conversation na nagpo-flow din suddenly kinakanta tapos oh. uh, jump back with, with specific emotions y- yun, 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 yun I think ang, uh, ang strength no? Okay, well, thank you, sir uh, siguro just to wrap up our discussion for tonight um eto pong question na ito, medyo ano po siya. Uh, oh. Nung start Finish kasi ng na. pandemic, uh, gusto niyo pa po bang magdaldalan, sir? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Sige po. Uh, so baka may follow-up question pa after nito. Pero sir, nung start kasi ng pandemic, di ba, uh, theater productions were considered non-essential by the government. Kaya nga po naka-halt lahat ng productions nun. There were productions na hindi man lang nag-closing or they were forced to close during that time. Kasi hindi daw essential ang uh, theater. Uh, recently na lang po tayo ulit nakakapagkita to, to watch um, shows at uh, very limited pa rin. So siguro yung question ko ay uh, para sa ating mga nanonood ngayon sa talkback natin ngayon, uh, baka meron po kayong message sa mga artists, uh, specifically theater artists uh, at this specific time in our history as Filipinos. Ano po ang pwede nyo ipabaon or re-advice sa ating mga nanonood? Lalo na meron po tayong mga estudyanteng nanonood ngayong gabing ito. Mauna na si Krina ako, tapos si Sir Fly sa amin. Sige po, uh, Ma'am Krina. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sa tingin ko, importante na uh, hindi tumigil sa pag-create ang mga artists, ano man yung uh, um, role nila sa theater. Uh, importante din na makapag-adapt sa technology na pwedeng uh, magamit natin ngayon para mas lalong kumbaga gamitin natin kung ano meron natin sa technology ngayon para maihatid ko ano yung nagagawa ng theater noon pero i don't think <laughs> magagawa talaga natin yung yung that human experience na nami-miss nating lahat ngayon as theater artists um kung ano man kayang pwedeng mabalik ng teknolohiya natin ngayon, sana ay ma- magamit natin yun the best that we can do para makapagbahagi tayo ng kung ano man yung mga mensahe or mga um, nararamdaman natin through that theatrical expression na na namimiss natin lahat ngayon. So, yun lang. Parang ituloy pa rin yung... yung pagiging artistic natin from before and to the new normal na sinasabi natin ngayon. So, yun naman po. Thank you very much, Ma'am Krina. So, tuloy lang tayo sa paglikha at uh, paggawa ng bago at pagkwento. Hindi ba ba? Who would go next? Sino po ang next natin? Na lang, Sir, next? Po? Ah, sige po. Okay. Okay. Sir, next. I, I, I think uh, kaya nag-survive yung theater because matapang ang teatro. <laughs> Alam mo yun, in... in uh, It, it, it's a no-holds barred thing. Uh, it talks about the realities of life. It can question you. It can anger. You know, it can make you angry. Or sometimes uh, it will really pose something na pwede, alam mo yun, deny mo. And uh, siguro, para, para din siyang yung ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini, di ba? Meron tayong mga ginagawa sa buhay natin or meron tayong mga paniniwala na akala natin ay, uh, ay, ay tama pero minsan dinideny natin na merong sundot. So merong ganong klaseng sundot siya. I, I mean, Uh, not necessarily on a, on a political or on a social uh, level, but I, I think uh, the, the in terms of life as well. Uh, sa mga sa mga estudyante siguro in terms of uh, kasi uh, I think that sa mga kasama ko sa mga co-faculty isa sa pinakamahirap uh, uh, and the people that actually help uh, sa pag-stream na ito, merong mga maraming estudyante na uh, graduate na hindi malang nakapasok sa Guerrero Theater, uh, maraming mga estudyante na uh, na uh, graduate na hindi man lang, uh, alam mo yun, nakapag-interact or di ba, uh, lahat eh, and, and, and that's very difficult. Pero ang sinasabi ko nga sa mga estudyante, uh, this is the best time to really work and understand the material and really build on the text uh, to, to work on the drama, uh, to really a- analyze that. And, and 
and yung mga yung world drama whether it's Asian or uh, and contemporary that span in terms of history pag inaral natin yon at saka pag inanalyze natin at it's stage natin kasi minsan pag nagsa-stage tayo online uh, uh, ako, ako for one naisip ko rin ah, too much chemistry na pero sometimes we really just go back need to go back to the text because it will lead us somewhere so I think that's the best time now is the best time to really work on materials that would actually develop us and, and, and you know make, make us more critical at, at uh, talaga going back to the text nasagot ka ba Sir Marms yung <laughs> yung yung tano niya Yes po, sir. Thank you very much for that reminder. At punta naman po tayo ngayon kay Sir Floy. Sir Floy, kayo po. Okay. Um, uh, I think people are waiting for us to address the elephant in the room. Um, and it, it's not a public matter, I think. It's very private. But, but um, uh, we might as well talk about it. As of last night, Dexter and I were still getting a lot of calls and texts. From um, concerned members of the theater of the theater community, who felt that um, certain players, certain um, featured players in the show, had turned, you know, had totally different political leanings as to what was already as to what the show stood for. And I thought about it, and Dexter had a very good way of putting it. The show was done in 2013, and it's in, it also interesting to see how people change how convictions change, how what you think all of you should be thinking of isn't exactly that. Others will go in a different direction. Others will think in a different direction. Others will have other political options. Others will probably infuriate you personally because they stand for something else. And what are we supposed to think about this? That considering that it happened, that this show was staged in 2013, my takeaway is that you all came together to do something beautiful and moving. And for one tiny moment in time, you all believed in the same vision, in the same vision of what a country could be, of what the future could be. And if in the end you all part ways or you go separate ways or someone doesn't think about that the way you do, well, there's always the memory of that moment of unity and beauty that you all created together. And in the end, that is really what art is all about. Thank Yun you lang. very much, uh, Sir, for sabi, sabi that you, eh, reminder. Si Sir Floy, eh. <laughs> <Ganda. laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike drop na. Na touch daw ba? <laughs> Thank but, you but, very but, much, but, Sir Floy. And, and I, I I think you you know the important that what 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 makes theater special not only for the long UP but for other theater companies as well that 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 moment that we all convene to do something which is something that we really believe in and kaya naman nagkakaroon ng isang magandang palabas because everybody's sharing in that same vision and that trust and that love for one another. Correct. And of and course, I, we can't wait to you. get. <laughs> yeah, yes, let's go there. Yes. <laughs> and of course, we can't wait to get back again to come together again to do what we always we love doing. Yes. Po tayo sa teatro, wait, go, uh, wait, going... someone has to say the other elephant in the room, huh? Which is you, <laughs> talaga grab your transition mo to TikTok. I love it. <laughs> I have to say, I'm sorry. I follow you. Grab your nehiya. Ako pag nila like nyo, ako nehiya ako talaga. <laughs> Eh, ikaw talaga ang the wise tito of TikTok. Talaga ayun na fans. <laughs> Hindi ako sasayawin niya. Ano, I am the wise cool tito of TikTok. It's so nice. <laughs> Thank you po, sir. Siyempre po ay mga na, mga nakuha kong uh, wisdom at inspiration mula sa inyo yan, seeing you guys work. And I'm so excited to work with you again. Makuha po ang honor ulit na makatrabaho kayo ulit. And to learn from you again, um, uh, grabe the rea realizations tonight from a play that we mounted eight years ago. Thank you so much for this gift uh, and for the time that you've given us tonight na makasama po kayo ulit. So, meron pa ba tayo mga questions mula sa ating uh, audience? Um, magandang gabi ulit sa mga nanonood sa atin sa Facebook streaming natin. So, parang wala nang uh, habol. Uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamala. Yes, sir. Well, how long? Uh, kasi hindi ko yun alam. How, uh, how long will this be streaming? 
Fab- in per- perpetuity, Sir Floyd. Ay, Forever. In perpetuity. Ay, fabulous. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay, okay. so uh-huh. narinig nyo yan. Uh, it will be up on our YouTube channel. Sa, Siyempre, nakashare din yung streaming sa ating Facebook ng DSCTA. So you can always uh, go back to our pages if you want to go back and watch ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Magabini. Yeah, sig- Muli- yeah, siguro, yes, Marv, sir. sorry, sorry, Marv, sorry. Siguro, I- I would like also to thank the students and the members of the faculty who actually yes. supported this event. Uh, of course, uh, spearheaded by the department chair, uh, Sir Anil Tiatko. Of course, we have uh, Ish, uh, uh, Juan Ismael Mendoza, David Sot Oliveros, uh, Olive Nieto, and of course, uh, the many students who actually helped. Uh, even though uh, they're not enrolled in the class, uh, they really helped us you know, for, this, uh, for this project. So thank you, thank you. Yes, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat naging bahagi nito. And thank you very much to the four of you for your time and for sharing us your wisdom and your insights tungkol sa uh, ating play, uh, ang ulit ng nagdani Apolinari Mabini and of course, uh, uh, things that are happening around us right now. Muli po maraming maraming salamat Sir Floyd. Thank you very much Ma'am Krina and thank you very much Sir Dex. Thank you. Applause, thank applause, you. applause, 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 applause. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga naibahagi niyo sa amin na lalo pang nagpayaman ng kwento ng ang huling lagda ni Apolinario Mabini. Nagpapasalamat din po kami. Katulad ng sinabi ni Sir Dex kanina, nagpapasalamat din po kami sa artistic team, sa actor, sa production backstage teams na bumuo ng dolang ito. Sana po ay mas marami pang makanood ng dolang ito. Lalo na po uh, ngayon ay available ito sa aming website, sa Facebook page at sa YouTube channel ng UP Department of Speech, Communication and Theater Arts. So pwede nyo po siyang balik-balikan kung gusto nyo po itong panoorin. And, at uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, syempre, free rin kayong, uh, pwede rin ito ipalabas sa inyong mga klase. Tama, tama naman, di ba, sir? Pwede nila itong papanood sa kanilang mga estudyante, sa kanilang mga uh, uh, klase, sa kanilang mga courses uh, para mas uh, mapalagyan na pa natin ang kwento ni Apolinario uh, Mabili. Nais nice din po namin pasalamatan ang mga sumusunod. Uh, thank you very much to the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Maraming salamat po sa UP College of Arts and Letters. Siyempre sa UP Department of Speech, Communication and Theater Arts sa pamumuni ni Professor Sir Andrel P. Piatko. Thank you very much to the Department of Research, Creative Work and Extension Coordinator, uh, Assistant Professor Olivia Christine Di Nieto. Maraming salamat din sa Dulaang UP sa pumumuno ni Mr. Juan Ismael Mendoza. Thank you very much to Department Coordinator for Public Relations, Ms. Marielle Justin C. Sumilong. Thank you din sa mga mag-aaral ng Theater 113, sina John Patrick Oliveros, Janine Solitario, Lloyd Uy, Monica Chelsea Roque at Salma Marasigan. At ating mga katuwang sa streaming na sina Lidian Balagtas, Chini Chavez at Archie Clataro. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Samahan po ninyo kami muli sa May 20 at May 27 para sa streaming naman ng 2019 at 2020 staging ng Nana Rosa. Bahagi pa rin ng Kasama Kaisa Karamay. Iniimbitahan po namin kayong bisitahin ng website ng DSCTA sa www.dscta.kal.upd.edu. I-follow ang aming Facebook page at mag-subscribe sa aming YouTube channel para sa iba pang impormasyon tungkol sa proyektong ito at sa iba pang gawain ng DSCTA. Muli ako po si Marvin Olaes, ang inyong tagapagpadaloy ng talk na ito. Big Stock Star! Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, ingat po kayong lahat and magandang gabi po. Ingat, bye. Thank you po. Thank you po ulit Sir Floyd, Sir Dex, and Ang Krina.